to solve trigonometric equation okay we just follow these three steps okay now step number one okay is draw di is draw diagrams okay to work out which quadrants okay it is all right step number two we find the reference angles these are reference angles okay always between x and the line okay reference angles never between y and the line okay always between x and the lines remember that step number three we need to write down the answer within the domains okay so here we go okay let's say let's say solve we're gonna solve number one uh, cos of theta is, is a half okay between let's say the domain is between 0 and 360 degree okay now first of all I draw diagram first because cos theta equal half so half is positive so therefore must be in this quadrant and in this quadrant cos or if you don't remember write it down or station to central yeah all mean all the trick are positive and cos is positive so this is first and the fourth now second step we look for reference angles reference angle is between x and the line remember that for me and always acute so cos inverse just a half yeah so you should get 60 degrees okay cos 60 is a half so inverse cos a half is 60 so that's your reference angles 60 60 okay now therefore write down your answer theta equal your first answer is start from here 60 degree okay second one start from here go all the way around back to here so 360 less 60 so 300 degrees that's your answer okay next one number two let's say sine of x is equal to negative a half x is between 0 and 360 degrees step number one okay sine x equal negative a half which means negative so we're going to draw diagram step number one and work out which which um, quadrant it is all right so it's negative sine so that means we'll be in this quadrant and in this quadrant okay now then we look for reference angles to look for reference angles you go inverse sine of a half now if you inverse sine a half it should you get 30 degrees because sine 30 is a half so inverse sine a half is 30 so your reference angle remember x and the line that's your reference angles that's your reference angle 30 now theta equal we're going to write the answer so you start from here and you go all the way 180 at 30 so which is 210 degrees and your now the answer is start from here and you go all the way from here to here that's your hit the line you stop so 360 less 30 so you should get 300 30, 330 degrees that's your answer okay so just remember the process for me let's move on number three let's say 10 square theta is equal to one okay now let's say th this time theta between negative 180 degree and um, 180 degrees look first we need to find out what's tan theta equal first okay because at the moment it's tan square theta so then you square root both sides so tan theta must be because you square root one so it should be plus or minus every time you square root it you've got a positive and negative so it's plus minus one okay then because it's negative so it's in every quadrant okay so positive one is is this quadrant first and second I mean third for the positive negative is second and fourth okay now then we look for reference angles now remember when you do reference angles reference angles always are key. you ignore the negative side negative is only tell you which quadrant the answer is right so you got 10 inverse of 1 you should recognize that is 45 degrees so your reference angle is 45 again remember between x and the lines okay so 45 degrees everything is 45 here 45 there 
So therefore, your answer theta equal start from here 45 degrees. Then you go again, hit this. So 180 less 45 is 135 degrees. And then you go from here to here. Oop, you can't go anymore because you stop at 180 degrees. You can't exit that. Then we're going backward, okay, opposite direction. So this one here, because it's going opposite direction, so you got negative 45 degrees. Again, you go all the way from here to here, is minus 135 degrees. So you can write in ascending order. Let's say you can write at negative 30, 135 degrees, negative 45, and then 45, and then 135. But I can write like this as well, plus minus 45 degrees, okay, and plus minus 135 degrees. Okay, now let's do one more. Let's do one more, one more number four. So um, let's say cos, okay, let's say 4 cos squared theta minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, this time theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. Okay, so first of all, remember we find what what cos theta equal first, of course, we just try to solve the problem first. So we move the 3 on that side, so that means 4 cos square theta is equal to 3, cos square theta equal 3 over 4. Okay, so 3 over 4. Then a square root both sides. Remember, every time square root, you got a plus and a minus. Okay, except the um, applications. Okay, so you go cos theta equal plus or minus root three over two. Now, because you got positive and negative, so that means it's on every quadrant. So I don't have to work it out. So you go this, and then you go first, second, third, fourth quadrant. Then we look for reference angles. Now remember reference angle, you ignore negative side. Negative just to tell you the quadrants. So you go inverse cos of root three over two. Okay, otherwise you recognize your answer, um, your exact value, and then makes it easier for you. So inverse cos of root three over two, and you should recognize that, and it will give you 30 degrees. Okay, so 30 degrees, 30, and 30, and 30. Then now, you've got the, the reference angles. Now you just write down your answer. Theta equal, the first answer is 30 degrees, of course. And the second one, you go all the way, you hit this. So it's 150 degrees. Okay? Now, the third one, 180 plus 30. So give me 210 degrees. 210. And the last one, you go all the way from here to here, is... 360 less 30, so that means 330 degrees. Thank you for watching.